Alright guys, welcome back. Alright, instantly let's go now to the ship. So, no really, no big transition. Okay, let's go find this ship. To sea! Now, luckily this next dungeon isn't a pain in the ass. I mean, in some parts, if you don't know what you're doing your first time, you're gonna get your ass screwed. Other than that... What? Oh, yeah. It, it, we're gonna shoot an invisible ship. Logic, where are you? It's a Zelda game? There's no such thing as logic. Logic is thrown right out the window. Now, this next dungeon, I hope you understand fourth dimensions. Like I've been trying to train everybody. Because this next dungeon requires you to think fourth dimensionally. A lot. So, okay. Thousand Rod. Now, it's over in this big area. Somewhere. It's in front of us, but we still don't know where it is. Go. Oh god, it's right here. <laughs> Literally, it was right next to me. Yeah, I saw it. Shut up, so we can turn around and actually shoot it. Jesus! Shoot air! Go! Shoot something! Anything! Oh, that's worthless. Okay. Anything. Okay, hit it. Hit it one more time. Awesome. Okay, cool. Alright, and that is our next dungeon. A ship. What? Logic, where are you? Like I said before, it's a Zelda game. Logic is thrown right out the window. So let's just ignore it and let's hurry up and go on in this pirate ship. Well, damn. I was expecting to be greeted by a lot of evil enemies. But apparently it's the empty as hell. Cool. Alright then. Looks like this place has been abandoned for years. Well, that's a good sign. But, basically... We're just gonna be exploring the inside of the ship for the first part of this dungeon, and then the second part of this dungeon involves... Time puzzles. Alright. So, yeah, this dungeon. Exciting, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not exciting at all, trust me. Okay. Alright. We have to sound us correctly, get to the very edge, tiptoe, and then run! Run, Link! Run! Yeah! I made it. But I lost all my stamina. <sighs> So basically, for the first part of this place, we just gotta get to the very bottom of the ship and then solve a puzzle. Okay, and in this hallway, there's a crap load of baby scorpions. Ah, uh, scorpions, come here. Oh yeah. Jeez. Come on! Come on! I dare you! Yeah, you can get a lot of good, um, drops if you're lucky from these guys, so... Yeah! 
So, I would come back here if you're trying to get any slimes or whatever. You can collect a crap ton. I see. Um, yeah, what was your thought, Fi? Jesus, that was stupid. This might lead to an important room. Yes. Or it may lead to an uneventful room that we don't necessarily need to go into. You ever thought about that? It It's just locked up because... Because nobody needs to go to it? Really, Fi, come on. Use logic here. Okay. So, another one of these puzzles. Now, unlike before, you can actually find out... Let me show you off. The patterns on the floor here. Now, I already know the pattern is down, up, down, right. Okay. That. And I already failed. Because we motion plus is a bitch. Ah! Okay. Down. Up, down, right. Thank you. And what lies behind door number one, Pat Sajak? A brand new car. Nope, nope. It's a key to your new house. What am I doing? That's what the price is right. Half the people watching this don't even know what the fuck that is. I'm so old, I know what the fuck that is, because I watched this at my grandma's house a few times, because that's what she had on when I was over there. So, yeah. <sighs> and you, and, and I'm watching the old one, when Pat Sajak was still around. You guys probably know that, um, who the fuck was his name? Um, damn it, I can't remember him. I know who... He took over to Price is Right, but I can't remember his name right now. He was on, um, Whose Line Is It Anyways? He was the host of that, and he had his own show, but I can't remember his name off the top of my head. My friend Nick is probably going to put in the comments below who exactly it is, but I apologize, Nick. I know you know it, but I can't remember his name right now. Okay, ah, God, I hate that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now we have to go all the way up. Hi, bats. Why oh, didn't one of you electrocute? You guys never look. Oh, that's a very interesting way. That actually looks quite nice. And now it's going to disappear. Never mind, just ignore my decor. Okay, so... Let us go versus a mini-boss now. Seriously, one key gets us to a mini-boss, I swear to God. To get into mini-bosses in Twilight Princess took, like, three times as long. You can just get one key and then you're right to a mini-boss. Ugh. Oh. Okay. Nice pants you got there, sir. Okay. Okay. I thought you would be more threatening, you robot person. But apparently, I was wrong. You are... Okay. Pathetically easy. Oh, okay. Okay, that thing... Okay. Let's go to round two, buddy. Ow. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. One. Ugh. Seriously. Okay, there we go. Ah, tuck off your arm. What you gonna do now? 
it enlarged the barrier even further. Okay. Okay, he's gonna swing one, two. Yeah, and he has a back swing. That's what I was waiting for. Ah! Oh, hate that. Okay. Yeah, keep doing that, buddy. Oh, come on! There we go. Off we go. Well, that's some way to die. Eh. That robot lived for many years, so I applaud him for that. Good job, bro. Fly, what the hell are you doing here? What is the 1% chance that it isn't him? I hate these statistics from the stupid robot sword. And now we've got the bow in it. Why? Pirate ship, bow and air. Why? The claw shop be should be the dungeon item of this thing. Ugh. Did I mention I hate the item placement of this game? Okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Fly. Fly. Go make me. Hurry up and make that sandwich. I'm gonna be waiting on it for a long time. Is there any seats around here? I need to sit down. Like now. Okay. Seeds. Ah, cool. Shop five. So, how's everybody doing? All right, continuing on. Oh wait, I already have the bow equipped. Now, the bow is a little bit finicky in this game. I know a lot of people are don't really like it so much, but I'm just used to it. That's so going to veer off a little bit to the left. There we go. It's all about precise aiming, and you basically think of yourself as kind of, if anybody plays any first-person shooters, uh, yeah, 90% chance it is... I hate statistics from her. You gotta act like a sniper and aim where your arrow's going to be. Because based on the Wii Motion's controls, it's gonna veer off based on the direction where you shoot. So if you shoot from the right, it's gonna aim a little bit to the left. So you just gotta be a little bit good with your precise aiming and just aim for where your arrow's going to go instead of where it is at. Because uh, if your arm's a little bit twitchy, it's most likely going to veer off into one direction that you're trying to aim against. So, just keep practicing that and you should be fine. I know it's a pain in the ass for most people, but eh. You don't have to worry about too much. Oh, uh, there. Climb, climb. Cool. No. You, you just died. Thank you for the arrows. Okay. I just came up here for nothing because I really need to climb this thing. Link, leap! God! Don't know why... Now he's leaping. Okay, now it's time to snipe. Shot in the face. Shot in the face. Go to the other side. Shot in the face. He dropped something. Did okay. I'm getting it. Yeah! Ornamental skulls. I love all these items. Cool. The more the merrier. Oh, god damn it. Not that again. Okay. Alright. More sniping. Okay, this one's gonna be a little bit off. 
Nope, that one was right on target. That guy was standing there the whole entire time, didn't even notice him. Okay. Okay, cool. Oh crap, he dropped some too! I want it, but I gotta move on. Okay, aim for where it will be at. Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. Veer off to the right. 